the <laughs> this is the stickers, the stencils. Yeah. <laughs> this is not those regular plastic ones you take off. Well, it peels. It peels off. Because right? usually they just easily peel off. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> Not this, not no. this <laughs> What do we do? This well, is going to take been, ages to I've take off. Like so we're en route to one of our uh, projects, actually. It's a beautiful condo in a very prestigious uh, neighborhood in Toronto in Yorkville. It's pretty small. It's a two floor loft almost, and it's about a thousand square feet. And it's going for about 1.5 million. So we decided to do some work in there because if you're gonna show a $1.5 million condo unit, then it really needs to play the part. So I have my painters there right now and they have started today painting. So I just wanna quickly go there and make sure everything is going smoothly. And uh, I'll do a walkthrough with you guys, explain what we're planning. And we're gonna be staging it next week. Sanitize our hands. Do this guys we're here oops wrong side <laughs> always get it wrong and i don't like it when they don't put signs <laughs> it's very misleading okay. hello hello, hello. Hey. hi what's going on <laughs> working away. good to see you you too so this is first of like four you're doing for us yeah. in the next few weeks? Yeah. Okay, so this is our smaller one. We're doing CC20 on walls, doors, trims. What do they have now? Um, Some places look like it's like- I don't know, it like, doesn't really look, it looks yellowish. I'm gonna say sort of a CC40 probably. Not there. Okay. This kind of looks like it's like textured paint, no? It's like brick. Well, I think it's a brick. Because the way they painted it's, it, it looks like it's highlighted, well, it's kind like of. The, I don't want to say wallpaper. Is it? It's like a veneer. Right. Because right? you can see where the joints yes. are, right? Right, I see that. See? Maybe leave this okay. as an accent. The way it is? Right. Okay. okay. Is there going to be, if we do CC beside this, CC20, it's going to be a big difference? Oh, yeah. There will like, be. Like compared to what's there now? Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This, I don't like. And it's part of the condo. They've done it here. They've done the barn doors. They've done this pillar here. This was like an add-on from the building, but I don't find it attractive at all. So we're doing all the walls here. That door you're leaving though, right? Yeah, the yeah. barn door. Yeah, yeah. this guy we're not gonna paint. This is like a feature from the, from the builder. In here, just plain white. Claude, do you want to go see upstairs? What's this one? Where is this from? Was well, that's it? my paper cover. Oh, oh, oh okay. Back. I'm like, are you doing wallpaper somewhere? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stickers, the stencils. Yeah. <laughs> this is not those regular plastic ones you take off. Well, it peels, it peels off. Because right? usually they just easily peel off. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. No. This <laughs> what do we do? This is well, going to take been, ages to I've take been off. Here, right? We've been doing what we can. And then this is all going to be white, which is pretty close to a white right now. I guess it's like a, it's like a gray white. Oh, it's going to look perfect when it's all light. Okay, so we're going to do a little fresh paint in there. So guys, this is the master, and uh, it was a little bit of one of those rooms that you kind of have to stand in there for a little bit and go hmm what am I going to do with this now a couple pointers when you're doing a master bedroom in any house it's always important to show a king size bed for the principal room and they had that here even though it's a small room 
it kind of has these divided areas that we're making good use of where there would have been dead space. We're actually going to be creating a little desk area in here, or it can be used like a vanity table with a chair or ottoman underneath. Before they had a shelf here with books and stuff and a nightstand, but I felt like since it's COVID and everybody's working from home these days, it'd be nice to show a little office space where none exists. So we're kind of creating that. So one of the reasons that I felt it was important to paint the unit, not to say that it was you know, really in, in bad condition. It's just that it needed a fresh up. So the walls had scuff marks, especially in higher high traffic areas. And those are the selling features that you're looking for. You're looking for turnkey homes, condos, because not everybody these days is looking to put in the extra effort to go paint. So if you have a turnkey unit, then it's ready to go. So we decided to paint it all out, the walls, the trims, the doors, cover up all the imperfections in the walls. So where artwork used to exist, now the holes are covered up. We put up art where needed and areas that we don't need it, we don't put it and we don't feel the need to put it because it's all smooth walls, nice and clean looking, ready for the new buyers. Okay, this is interesting. So we don't have the best view here, but at least, you know, it's a nice open space where you can entertain during the summer months. So this is awesome. We have a nice sitting area here. We have a table with six chairs. Oh, great, and they have a barbecue. It's not gas line, so. All right, that's awesome. Good use of space. Felt like I needed to power wash the floors. My only concern was that downstairs there's another unit. So if we're power washing, where's the water going, right? We need to find that out from the building. Okay, so this place is in good hands. Claudio is gonna be done in a few days and then we're gonna have the cleaners come in, do a final clean. We, I have to let them know that there needs to be window cleaning and as well, the terrace area needs to be washed down. And other than that, they're gonna do a deep clean inside and we're staging next week. So things are looking good. This is one of those last minute projects that we made it work for our client. They're super happy. We're super happy that we can accommodate them. Let's just get the place sold 1.5 million. Let's go. Okay guys, we're here at the staging project. Let's go see what's going on inside. So it's it's a transitional house. and was a little bit outdated, but uh, we changed some light fixtures, painted, and we chose like more modern, clean looking furniture. It's gonna look spectacular. Okay, so we're here for about 20 minutes or so before our next appointment. And my guys have gone to the warehouse for the second load. Um, it is a pretty big project we're doing here. So we're doing the full main floor plus the master bedroom and all of the bedrooms are getting accessorized. So it's two trips and uh, I'll give them a hand until they get here. I think we're gonna have to think of something to do with this light because it's really off center with our table. And if we actually center it, if we center the table with our light fixture, we're gonna be way into the living room and that's gonna be a big no-no. My favorite chairs. Can't tell you how many of these we have sold. It's just been an ongoing event. Uh, Sep, is there a leaf coming for the dining table? Okay, so this is gonna get extended because right now this is too small. Okay, so then I'm gonna leave the chairs back because the guys are gonna come here and they are going to have to put the extension leaf in. So this is great for a six seater, but this house is over 4,000 square feet and six seats is not sufficient enough for a formal dining room. We need at least eight, which is the perfect size for here. We don't wanna go out too much into the hallway. As you can see here, right now, if I put the eight seats in, my chair will probably sit around here, which is perfect. But to come out any further than this into the walkway area is not gonna be good. Okay, so we, have, we are still missing a bunch of stuff because we have accent chairs that are supposed to come here, big, beautiful ones actually. And uh, they're not here yet, so we have to wait for those. 
as well, I actually use my oversized sofa here. So if you guys remember from one of my videos, I was talking about a sofa that did not fit in an elevator of a condo. We had this piece custom made for the condo and it didn't fit in the elevator. So I'm glad that we can use it in our project today. And we don't have obviously any elevator restrictions. So worked out well. So we have our principal room and it's a pretty spacious bedroom. So we're creating a nice sitting area here. I know we're kind of in a rush and I'm just here to do a quick uh, checkup of things, but um, once I come back here, everything will be done and I'll get to show you guys exactly what it looks like, the finished product. But just to give you an idea, um, we're doing a sitting area at the bottom of the bed, at the foot of the bed with a nice ottoman and then we have our sideboard. So this is like a really spacious room and we're doing all of this and we still have so much space. So it's important not to leave the room looking too sparse because then it looks unfinished and also equally important not to fill it up too much because then you can make the space look too cluttered. So just enough furniture that it's proportionate with the room. And I think that uh, we did a good job with that here. Hey, this patio is beautiful. Love this backyard. Oh, this is so cozy. I mean, if it was nicer weather and it wasn't raining, I could totally sit out here and relax and enjoy this beautiful space. So we have a nice sectional, some little seating on the side. They have a little shed here. That's super cute. Love the tree. It's a great property. Sure, it's gonna sell in no time.